Hey guys, Matt here with Carolina Coops, and we are in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm doing a repair job today. So I thought I'd capture that on video real quick to explain why, even when you live in the South, and you think you might catch it in time, but you won't, or you just don't expect it, um, a regular heated water system or a non-heated water system. And I'm not sure if you've seen some past videos of this particular coop, but this was originally a playhouse on one side, shed on the other. We converted it into a chicken coop last year. And I've come to repair her what was a non-heated water system. We're gonna make it a heated water system because it froze on her and cracked. So we're gonna change that up. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys a couple things I think is pretty darn cool. Hopefully I can capture it, but basically what she's done, which I tell everyone is brand new to chickens. You can never have a big enough run if you cannot free range. And I have a lot of customers always tell me, you know, I can never free range, I got predators. Well, everyone has predators. And what you're gonna realize is you will eventually let them out once you get um, feeling safer about it. Oh, she added a uh, fence here, nice little arbor there, and just uh, tacked on, well, it looks like two inch by four inch, 16 gauge fencing material. She's got some kind of plants growing on here. It looks really cool. Well, anyways, I am told by her, uh, I haven't seen her yet, but she lets them out here um, so they can get out and free range a little bit. And another thing that I thought was pretty cool, and I actually used to do this back in my uh, extermination days for seagulls in parking lots. And I'll have to ask her how effective this has been, but um, we used to hang wire between light posts to stop gulls from coming in and landing. Well, here she put in Looks like a fishing line of some sort, and I'm only assuming it's to deter hawks from coming in and swooping down and trying to get to one of our girls. And what happens is it'll clip their feathers, if you will, when they come soaring in and they don't like it. So I thought that was pretty cool. You, I didn't actually notice it right away until I came back out and looked up, so I thought that was pretty cool. I love her walkway here. Just some rounds from some trees that probably fell, some rocks. We got our just beautiful reclaimed Dutch door here. Actually reclaimed wood, we made into a Dutch door. Working beautifully. If I remember correctly, yeah, there's a light switch. Here's some girls. They hear me talking, they want out. Don't blame them. Hopefully you can still hear me. It's gonna be a little noisy. Hi girls. Um, Deep litter system, industrial hemp. I love these egg boxes that we made. Oh, there's an egg. Look at that. And there, there's the best part. Let me get a good shot of this. Look, look how clean that is. When it's set up right, you don't have the problems that a lot of people have. Look how beautiful and clean that egg is. And if you're doing any research about eggs, you don't ever want to have to clean them because you'll remove that bloom that's there to protect them in the first place. But it, yeah, I get it, us Americans, you know, we're so used to seeing bright, clean, white eggs. Well, it's the worst thing that we do to our eggs. Yes, girls, I hear you. All right, so we're put that back in here. Let's check the bottom one out. Oh, we got a bunch down here. Nice and clean. Look at the different colors. Look at the speckles, beautiful. Textbook perfect. Um, here's the system that I'm gonna be repairing. So here's the rain barrel. Uh, one of my favorite diverters because you can pop this open and clean it. Um, looks like it's clean right now. But we got a gutter. Here's the synthetic slate roof we put on in addition. We could not match this. So you're going to notice two different colors that just we couldn't match it. They didn't make it. There's the run addition we did. We'll go in here. And what I got to do today is repair what broke because it froze on her. And boy, did it crack. So what I did was. Um, had the rainwater captured in the water barrel, feeds the water bar, and just our, we love these horizontal nipples. So I got to make her a custom water bar so that it heats up and circulates back into the rain barrel, keep it from freezing. So that's what we're gonna do. And oh, and one of my favorite parts about this coop, if you didn't see the original video, love this. My shop foreman, Evan Archer, Master Mason. Well, I think he's only a journeyman, but he's damn good. We, he cut this out, made a nice arch. I doubt there's any other chicken doors 
pop doors, whatever you want to call them, out of brick in the world. If there is, I'd love to see it. But that's our version in the reclaimed ramp. All right, so I've gone past my five minutes. Oh, look at this cathedral ceiling. It's so big and beautiful. We did a two-tone paint job. It's just gorgeous. And I see she's uh, hung her feeders, which is nice. We got this big roof. Chicken swing. They don't use it, but it looks cool. Sounds like it could be fun. It's nice and vaulted ceilings. Oh, and the mirror. They do love a mirror. Every now and then you'll get a girl that just adores herself more than she probably should. We got a dust bath. She's doing good. Absolutely perfect. And we got another run door that we put in right here. All right, uh, here we are. Just finished up the upgrade to the water system. We upgraded it to a heated water system. And pretty much looks a lot like it did originally so for a couple added features so i'll show that real quick uh let's see so we got the rain barrel the diverter the gutter the line in the bottom what's new now is going into a pump that turns on by a thermostatic switch when it gets below freezing and we added the heat source here that goes down in the bottom uh, to heat the water up but other than that it's gonna be very similar let's hop in here i decided to go with another uh, 90 degree water bar and then to help keep it from freezing when the pump kicks on and pumps the warmer water through comes around here and then returns out through the run area and back to the top side of the barrel there and that hose right there that's coming from the diverter so that's what it looks like right there oh and then um <laughs> stupid me i haven't done this in a while actually uh, i was reusing her old nipples and i snapped this one so uh, it actually still works but i'm going to replace that here in a second i just got to go find one and actually, if you ever are doing these yourself and you do break them, because it, it's, I don't want to say it's easy to do, but you can. Um, the easiest thing i found to do is you actually take a flat blade screwdriver that'll fit in there and you just kind of jam it in there and twist it out and it comes right out and then boom, put a new one in. But either way, real things that happen, even to us pros, I guess. Either way, that's done. I think the client's going to be very happy with it and she doesn't have to worry about it freezing again, even down here in the Carolinas where it can... Get a little chilly just have a return coming up to the rain barrel and i only had to tee it off just because i had to catch one of the vertical columns i had to do the same thing on both sides so i had to tee it off there so i can catch it with the pipe straps very simple that's what it looks like all done easy fix hope you guys like the video any questions comments please leave them down below and you can always check out our website at carolinacoops.com and of course we have all the fancy social media stuff, Facebook, Twitter, House, Pinterest, Instagram. I'm sure there's more. Either way, thanks for watching. Later.